Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Sidekick. In this video, I'm going to compare the Kindmaster video rendering speed test comparison between the Realme GT Neo 2 vs Realme GT Neo 3 device. Dimensity 8100 processor vs Snapdragon 870 chipset. And recently, friends, I'm getting so many comments asking me to upload this kind of video comparing both uh, processors. Let's find out which processor will be really powerful in terms of uh, rendering the rendering and exporting the video using the Kindmaster application. So right now, I'm trying to select the same video between these both phones and let's find out, friends. So previously I did upload the similar kind of video comparing with the icon and SC device with the Snapdragon 88 processor and the Realme GT Neo 3 was able to not that uh, perform well. So few users they want to know about the Snapdragon 870 how well this Dimensity 8100 processor gonna perform against this Snapdragon 870 processor and right now I'll be using the exactly same video and uh, same bitrate as well you can see same bitrate is selected between these both phones right now as you can see same bitrate and about estimated size of 222 MB and 222 MB is estimated size. You can definitely see your friends, same kind of bit estimated size right now. And let me do click at same time and we'll like to find out how much time it actually takes as well. Right now the stopwatch has been started and this is the Snapdragon 870 and is the Dimensity 8100. Try to look at the speeds, the Dimensity 8100. So my guess would be there that uh, the processor maybe is not still optimized I guess regarding the kind master video rendering application but snapdragon 870 is really very fast if we try to compare both phones side by side so definitely friends in terms of the video rendering and exporting speed test you will feel the difference if you are using the realme gt neo 3 versus other smartphones this might be because of lack of optimization and definitely it's like still only 30 percent finished that's a long time to go and right now you might be thinking can you please enable the gt mode and try again yes i'll try to use the gt mode also right now let's use the gt mode yes gt mode has been turned on successful now now let me do open the canvas video learning application now let's open the same video and uh, let's uh, go export and let's click at same time and now you should be able to see the difference using the gt mode and without gt mode no, nothing much difference, right? You can clearly see the GT Neo 2 is a clear winner with the Snapdragon 870. This phone. Maybe the optimization might be the problem in the Dimensity 8100 processor. What's happening here regarding the optimization? So, this just only 1080 to 1080 all I'm trying to convert. Forget about the 4K because if I ready to do the test with the 4K, that's going to take a lot of time as well. Let's do the test with the 4K as well. So with the 4K, I'm trying to convert from 1080 to 4K resolution. So you can clearly see friends. So even in this kind of speed test as well, the Realme GT Neo 3, Neo 2 was able to like render faster, slightly, little bit. You can definitely see here, comparison side by side. So GT Neo 3 versus GT Neo 2, you can definitely see, uh, see the difference as well. Snapdragon 870 versus Damage 8100. And this is the 1082 4K rendering speed test I'm trying to do right now. And Snapdragon 870 is pretty fast than the Damage 8100 processor as well. That's something you should know about. So this is a quick comparison friends and in case if you have any other, any other questions let me know in the comment section below friends. And see in the next video until instead of more updates and by the time this Realme GT Neo 2 finished 100% still this phone did not even reach 50% it was about close to 40% only. That's very slow I can definitely say that. So meanwhile signing off until instead of more updates and bye.